Scott had 38. I mean, was it just an inability to keep him out in our league? Yeah, uh, it's funny. I think in the, the first half, Mike, they had 10 made threes, and uh, everybody that shot him was making them. Uh, and then the second half, they go one for nine. You know, the, and the Jackson makes that big one uh, on the tremendous pass from Ja uh, in front of their bench. But we gave up 34 in the paint in the second half. And more importantly, in that third quarter, we gave up 24 in one quarter. Um, so, yes, it seemed like at times they were playing at a different speed than us. You know, I mean, just uh, – and we knew it. We know they're the number one running team in the league. He's fourth in individual fast break points per game. Uh, and he had a great game. He's a great player. You know, so you tip your cap to uh, not only Ja Morant, but the entire team. You know, there's a reason they're third in the Western Conference. Um, key stretch, once again, we've seen this movie before. Um, we're playing well in that third quarter. We're playing well. Then all of a sudden, I think it's a 15-4 run to close. And then to start 6-0. So now you got looking at a 21-4 run by Memphis. Uh, we make a valiant effort to try to get back in the game, make plays, but just uh, you know, too little, too late. Uh, they beat us on the glass by 11. Uh, the paint defense, the transition defense, you know, just have to try to be better, you know, starters, bench, and uh, we have a chance with one more game uh, on this six-game homestand to go four and two. And, uh, you know, Detroit, I don't, I don't look at records. You know, they're, they're playing better. They have some young, aggressive, confident players, and, you know, it's going to be a heck of a challenge to try to beat them before we go on a, another um, ridiculous journey throughout the states of uh, America. I don't know if I would agree with that, to be honest. I mean, that's five games in a row where we're 32 plus assists per game. Um, he is definitely um, demanding so much attention to your point, Ryan, but um, I, there were definitely a few instances tonight where the spacing uh, wasn't right or we didn't get him the ball when he was open. Uh, we didn't react quick enough, but I, I do think it has improved. But. Uh, again, the the assists, I mean, Aaron Gordon had nine, Nicola had 12, Will Barton had eight and 34. Um, so you know, it's just something that we, we understand. That's how teams are going to guard us and guard Nicola. And uh, we just have to react quicker and, uh, and and try to make them pay for giving him so much attention and double teaming him throughout the night. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of the Bridgeport State? Yeah, I thought it was, you know, for him, you know, uh, new team, you know, welcome to... Denver this morning, you know, one shoot around. I thought in the first half he was good. I thought in that second half he struggled a little bit with his shot. Um, you know, I'm walking off with him. He says, you know, uh, you know, something to the effect of my bad. I said, oh, if you go out there and play hard, man, like, you know, it just that's all I ever ask. So don't say my bad. You went out there, you played hard. And uh, and I, I know you're a better shooter than four of 13 from the field. Um, you know, they're, they're a good defensive team. You know, they're one of five NBA teams to be ranked top 10 in offense and defense. They have just tremendous length. I mean, they had 10 blocks. Seemed like, you know, one guy would run him off. We drive for a pull up. There was another guy, 6'10 guy. I mean, how many guys like that do they have? Stretch Armstrong. So, uh, but overall, I thought Brim was good, you know, and, uh, and I think as, we, as he gets more comfortable, we get more comfortable with him. Uh, I think he'll, uh, he'll play better and better. Well, when it's a 21 to four run, it's everywhere. I mean, so you're not scoring, you're not getting stops. Um, you know, it was our inability to score or turn the ball over that fueled their break. Um, and obviously look at the plus minus. I mean, the plus minus off the bench was not where you would want it to be, but you know, none of those guys are out there trying to miss shots, you know, and I thought they played hard, but I um, mean, it just didn't go our way. I think we had 15 bench boys, 15 bench points in the first half, and uh, we only had two in the second half, and that was a shot that Bryn made late. Um, so, yeah, obviously, you know, that's part of our inconsistency at times. But, you know, um, again, they're a good team. Uh, we're going to learn from this and try to get ready for uh, Detroit on Sunday. Yeah, just, um, you know, him getting to town, you know, getting acclimated and, and just – uh, not not rushing him back, you know, um, you know, from whatever ailment he's uh, struggling with right now. So, 
uh, it was something that we had talked about with the training staff and hopefully uh you know today being a good day tomorrow one more chance to rehab you know hopefully on sunday you know we can we can get him out there and get him some game minutes make make shots i mean like i know it's kind of sounds simplistic and uh, I mean, but, you know, everybody knows the corny saying, it's a make or miss league. I mean, but there is a lot of truth to that. And, you know, I mean, Bryn 4 of 13, Faco 0 of 3, Bones 0 of 3. Um, but I also think it starts on the defensive end. I, I think if that group can, can find a way to uh, get some stops, get in transition, get some easy ones, it's like that group has to work so hard. And, uh, and playing against a set defense is much harder than playing in transition before they get set. So, um, but they, I mean, this is Bryn's first game. I mean, like you, you don't just uh, pick up a guy that was in San Antonio and it's not gonna be just a seamless transition. But in the first half it was, I was like, oh, this, is, this looks pretty good. And the second half obviously wasn't the same, but uh, we'll be better. I mean, uh, you know, again, right now we're three and two in this road trip. Uh, home homestand rather and we've lost to utah and memphis two really good teams and uh my hope is that before we go on a six game and nine nights trip uh, we can find a way to finish this homestand four and two and, and i'd feel really good about that appreciate everybody